started. Our first guest today is AP with a full line of feed storage and delivery systems, feeders, ventilation, and environmental controls. AP is a longtime exhibitor at the Iowa Pork Congress and an Iowa Pork Alliance member. We're excited to have AP with us in each of our spotlights with different products. So the flex flow unloader has a few things that we want to talk about overall. So with this design is a low profile, which gives you a little bit more distance between the bottom of the unloader and the clear plastic boot. This is important for any maintenance type activities or even some feed reclamation activities that may take place with the system. It also comes with a custom molded clear door. So you'll have easy visualization of what's going on inside that unloader without taking the access door off. Also, we will have a full line of product offerings. So the Model 220, Model 300, Model 350, HR, and 500 will all get these upgrades. So some of the features we want to talk about today is where, right? That's probably the, the main reason that we started this project is we saw that there was longevity issues in our current galvanized unloader line. So in order to combat that, what we did is we took some of the parts and turned them into glass filled nylon. So two of those parts is the tube anchors and then a wear plate that I'll show you an individual picture of later in the presentation. So with that increase, it increased the wall thickness and changed material. So we have at least four times wear resistance compared to our current galvanized unloaders. It also improves the tube alignment. We can hold much better tolerances with an injection molded part than what we can with a welded part because in welded parts, you get a lot of warping and distortion depending on how it's welded and in the type of material that you're welding. So our quality of those parts is gonna be dramatically improved. One other thing that we did is we have a 75% larger opening. So up here, we've increased this opening. So we're gonna have 75% more opening compared to our legacy line of unloaders, which will definitely help with feed bridging events. And then also we talked a little bit more is, is increased ground and clearance and why that was important. So some of the other features is water intrusion. We have custom EDPM gaskets on the tube anchors and transfer plates. So on here, you're gonna have a gasket. Up here, you're gonna have a gasket to give us the best seal in the industry. We'll also have corrosion resistance because the parts we're talking about, they'll also be uh, composite or plastic, right? The nylon material I was talking about. So that by default is gonna be a very corrosive resistant material. Along that line as well, those that aren't composite materials, we're gonna have our, our standard galvanized offering that we've had for many years. We're also gonna come up with the stainless steel offering for those people that want that added corrosion protection. Another thing that is good about this is ease of serviceability. What does that mean? So it's easy to service. So if we do have a part that breaks or gets worn out for many different reasons, we can replace the wear plates without removing the auger. We can add or remove baffles through the access door, and there's really no special tools. If you've got a good set of wrenches in your truck, you'll be able to service this unloader. The next thing is modular design. So all these unloaders use similar parts and pieces, and we just put them together in a kit or an assembly to come up with the different twin through, twin out, and so on and so forth. So we'll have single, twin, and quad versions. Quad version is new, and that's something I'll show you in a future slide coming up soon. Common wear plates and tube anchors. So the Model 220, 300, 350, and HR use the same wear plates. So you don't have to have different versions for different sizes of, of unloaders if you have that in your area or your system. And we also have optional models to fit on legacy unload systems. That means any unloader that we've got today will have a new version of that that will directly bolt up to that current style 16 inch boot and you're off to the races. The last thing that I wanna mention on this slide is this system is patent pending. Here's a, a breakout, a exploded view, if you would, of all the different components. So it just shows the tube anchors, the gaskets and things like that, and the anchor bearings. This is a slide I was talking about. This is the wear plate. 
So you can see the wall thickness is much thicker. It's got a very, very uniform design. So the alignment is going to be as good as it can possibly be because this alignment, this surface is going to made up exactly to the tube anchor. So there won't be any wear points that the auger can work at wearing like we might see on some of our steel unloaders today. The last slide that I've got here is kind of giving you a, a 360 view of the different things and configurations that we can have. So one noticeable difference that you'll see is, is our anchor bearing system has changed to a bolt-on system. This allows it to be fastened directly to the unloader body and we don't have to worry about those, those muffler clamps getting loose and pushing that auger out the back of the bin. This is showing a legacy unload system with our current 16 inch either clear, translucent or black boot. We've got a model that'll fit up exactly to that. And then I had also mentioned the quad unloader. So this is another version that we wanted to use our 75% increased opening, but a lot of times we'll need up to four augers coming out of a particular bulk tank. So with that, we've got this quad offering available as well. Thank you for the quick presentation and your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to call out at 712-441-0029 or email me at brian.reek at agcocorp.com. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, Brian, thanks a lot for sharing that information with us about the FlexFlow unloader today, and welcome to our welcome to our spotlight. Um, I know our producers probably have some questions, and producers, it's your turn. We would like to have you send us our questions. Just type them in the QA box, and I'll make sure that Brian takes a minute to answer each one of those questions from you. Again, it's the QA box at the bottom of the Zoom window um, for producers for questions. Brian, I've got some questions. That was really interesting, and I appreciate uh, what you were showing us there. Is this product already available, or when will it be available? So the plan for launch for this product is we're going through a, what I call a pre-production launch right now, so it's available today, and we will launch the complete line of, of the unloaders that I showed in the presentation at the end of, of Q1 or the end of March. Okay. You talked a lot about um, boots uh, in there, and I guess I have a question about compatibility. Um, is this product compatible with um, competitors' boots and, and unloaders? Absolutely. So basically, all our systems will be competitive or compatible, excuse me, with any of our competitors. So if they use a 16-inch collar with the, the side gates, it should be a simple process of, of unbolting the old unloader and bolting the new unloader in its place. And here's a question um, from one of our producers. How long does it take to install and configure this system? If you, if, if you purchase the assembled version, it would take you no longer than it would today. So basically it would be as simple as, as taking four bolts out of the slide gate plate and then um, removing the unloader. Of course, the first thing you'd have to do is take the auger out and disconnect the PVC tubes and then basically reverse that process and bolt the unloader up, replace the tubes, replace the auger. Uh, my estimation would be at less than an hour to replace an unloader in an existing system. That sounds like a great way to, to do that. Um, what kind of packaging options are available to the marketplace? So with this uh, new design, it gives us a few more options that we didn't have before. So of course, we'll have the assembled version that most producers would be familiar with. We're also going to give them the opportunity to do a knockdown kit so it does not come factory assembled and then also buy parts in bulk. And, and the reason that the kits would be uh, good for an end user so you can basically build a twin through or a twin out if you have the components. You don't necessarily have to have that assembly sitting on the shelf. You can, you can build the different sizes and models that you need off a, a pool of parts that you would have in your warehouse, which would help to keep inventory low. Well, and I would assume that that you are there ready to help all of our producers if they're interested in, in uh, upgrading to this new FlexFlow unloader or any of the parts and pieces that they may need for their current systems. I know you mentioned it in your slides, but tell us one more time how we can get in touch with you. Absolutely. So we're always here to help on, on this or any of our AP products. So one place that you could go to is, is www.automatedproduction.com. 
and that would show the full list of products we have and, and you can contact us there. Another way to contact us would be through our Sioux City office and that phone number would be 712-239-1011. Brian Reek, we really appreciate you uh, taking time with us today to talk about the AP's Flex Flow Unloader and um, also, we appreciate very much that you are a supporter of our producers here in the state of Iowa and across the country, Iowa Pork Congress, and also a member of the Iowa Pork Alliance. Uh, we will talk again with the team from AP later in this hour, as well as in all of our spotlights.